In this video we're going to show you how to mount the bird spike kit and the lantern on top of the AI-1. So this is the bird spike kit um, with the instructions, a few images to illustrate and as always the QR code to this video. So um, the only tool we're actually going to use in this is a um, PH2, PH3 size Phillips screwdriver. Um, everything else is just using the kit of equipment provided. So remove the bird spikes from the bag um, and the key to look at here is that uh, the bird spikes by default have all the spikes fitted including the spikes in the middle. Now if you're using a lantern the spikes in the middle have to be removed. So I'll show you that on the AR1. So the screws that hold the bird spikes in position are already fitted so you can you need to remove these from the AO1 before commencing if in doubt they are the countersunk Phillips screwdrivers so they are the countersunk ones do not remove the other ones because they hold the canister inside the AO1 so remove all four and keep these to one side. So the good thing about these screws is that they're a stainless steel SS316 screw into the acrylic body of the AI-1 so there's no dissimilar metals or anything to worry about corroding in salt water over long periods of time. Okay, so once we've got the four screws removed then you can have a look at where the, the bird spikes go and you can see that the two holes match up with the pre-drilled holes in the bird spike kit. Now if we were not putting a lantern on top of this then you would simply use the bird spike kit as is and screw the four screws back in and uh, that would be all you would need on the top of the AR1. But as we're using a lantern on this station you need to actually remove the bird spikes between the two holes. So all you do is you squeeze them together and push them out. And you can throw these away because they're not much use for anything else. They are nice spring steel but not much use for anything else. So just pop the other one out as well. Okay, and so we've prepared those. Now you can put one in position, so just uh, lightly finger tighten the screw in. No need to tighten up too much because the countersinking side of the screw is what holds the lantern in position. Okay, so then we get the lantern and we slide it in between like this. Okay, and then get the two remaining screws. And then you can screw this down until it clinches on the outside of the lantern body. Do it all the way up. Repeat on the two remaining sides. Now there's no need to over tighten this. You just want to get it so it's fixed in position. There we go. Get it nice and tight but don't over tighten it. And there we go, the bird spikes and lantern are mounted in position. So there's a bit of wobble in there that's fine, uh, there's a bit of flex, so no problem with that. Uh, and of course make sure that you've got the bird spike fitted on top of the lantern itself. So as you can see that entire surface is uh, quite undesirable for birds to land on top. Okay, thank you.